I made a bonus video to show you how to use active fire detection from some of the VIRS satellite detects that happen a couple times a day. I color coded this data just for the purposes of this exercise to show you uh, what I'm talking about. But what you can see are three different colors of dots. This is three days worth of fire detections up in the Netherlands. And the yellow dots are day one. The orange dots are day two, and the red dots are day three, where the, the VIRS picked up uh, heat. So what I'm going to do is draw a perimeter around the dots for each of those days, and I'll color it to coordinate with it. So day one, I'm going to make a perimeter using yellow, and it's just the outline like I showed you previously. And I basically just pick a dot and start connecting on um, the yellow dots. I just start connecting roughly on the middle of the dots. And when I'm done uh, connecting the outermost dots for that day, I can get a rough estimate on how big that fire grew that day, and I can call it good. Now, um, one thing I like to do when I get done is fill it so that I can see where I have already colored. Uh, or connected the point. So everything that's in this yellow polygon, this big yellow polygon, has already been detected, so I won't hit it again. So now I want to start and I want to add uh, day two. And I want to make this orange. Um, I only want the outline for right now. And I want it to be orange to match day two's dots. So I'll uh, just start here just for illustration purposes, but you can start to see, you know, a perimeter start taking shape as you roughly draw around the edges of these orange dots. Now, one thing that's going to happen is you'll notice that the polygon that I'm now creating is a different size and shape uh, than the day one polygon. This is just that day's growth. So if you're only interested in knowing that day's growth, um, you just finish your polygon kind of how, how it started along the edge of the existing polygon. And this is pretty rough. But you'll notice that you can get information about how big it grew that day. So the day two, it grew 235 hectares. Now again, I'll color it in so I don't um, repeat on those dots, and I'll call it Oops, it didn't color in. Um, I'll call it day two and uh, make sure that I don't use those dots again. So now you can see that there's kind of, you know, this is just visual. This is not for analysis, but you can send this to a GIS person and explain what you have and they can work with it to make it better. Um, but this is a, just a quick start. If somebody asks you how big did it grow each day, just guessing and you haven't been out there, you can start to figure it out. So now, um, day three, I'm just going to work with this section right here just for uh, giggles, but day three, I'm going to make this uh, just the outline, and I'm going to make it red to match uh, day three's uh, points, and I'll, again, just kind of pick something on the edge here and start drawing around um, the edge of the polygon, the, the dots, and you know, maybe you don't want to do that dot. You want to go backwards and come in here. It's super easy. Once you start playing around with it, it's really not that hard to work with. Um, you just have to be comfortable with a mouse. So that looks pretty close. Um, and we can now look and see how big that section was. It's 93 hectares. And we'll color it in just to um, follow the same principles and get an idea of what it looked like. And again, you can see that the first day, maybe, you know, maybe the earliest point that was detected, you can start to get information. It tells you um, the time of day it was detected, the date it was detected, um, how hot it was, all sorts of different things, and which satellite detected it. And so when you click on each of these points, there's information. So you can start to see where the earliest detections were, which were probably these circles. And then um, you can start to to figure out earliest to latest and the direction and, and uh, spread of your, your fire. 
So what ends up happening is you end up with three different polygons. It's super crude and generic, but you end up with information.